Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Um, this is bid week number seven. No idea. I think so. Anyway, today we have Clayton is back and he's tinkering with his his own 240. Check out that for a 240 number plate. <laughs> this is the best number plate you could possibly have for a 240. Don't know how he lucked a, a lucked across that one, but. Ah, oh, you know, find um, these things on the internet, don't you? Internet purchases. <laughs> Louise is happy to say hello to everybody. Anyway, we're, he is currently changing engine mounts. Um, that's what was in it. This is what's going in it. This isn't a stock engine mount. It's another poly bush one from... The poly bush one? This one. Oh, uh, it's, it's, what's it say on the top of it? Swedish Parts and Oh, it does, Sweden. yeah. Professional, Professional Parts Sweden. Professional Parts Sweden. PPS. <laughs> PPS. PPS, Professional Parts Sweden, that one's from. This one's from Die Brace, a little bit too hard for road use. Um, I mean, they're good, they're, they're brilliant. Good. They'd be brilliant for track use. Brilliant for track use, a little, bit, a little too aggressive for everyday driving. But each so one, everyone's each got preferences. Their own. We're, not, we're not saying they're bad things, they're just a little bit too hard for this intended purpose. Right, let's take a little walk around Clayton's Gladys, that's what this lovely 240 is called, at head height, see what we can see. GLT alloys, very nice. It's a very nice little motor. Do you know, I do love the way a Volvo don't rust after a certain age. <laughs> 1988, I believe. 1988, Clayton believes. Um, they go through a, 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 a what's the, what's the galvanization, yeah. some kind of dipping process, and they just don't rust. I mean, look at the arches on the back of this car. The mint, you can still see the um, spot welds. Unbelievable, we had to put new arches on ours and several other things. <laughs> uh, continuing around the back, we've got a very well used bumper. And I think this tow bar has been used as a parking sensor one time too many. I'll use it for that. Uh, Clayton himself I'll uses use it as a parking sensor. He just said, oh, 240T for turbo. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice indeed. Is this arch as rust free as the other one? It pretty much is, look at that. Do love those alloys. Very nice example of a 240GLT indeed. Minus the GL. Minus the GL. Well then, back to back to the A240 GLT. No Tell GL. Us, huh? No GL. <laughs> no GL, no. All T. Not uh, the kind of all, drink either. It's all T now. It's all uh, T. Yeah. So it, it, it featured a while ago um, as a standard GLT with like, you know, standard K-Jet, which is all the coffee table K-Jet. It no longer has the coffee table, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it's called Gladys, but uh, Gladys is like an old lady's name. Um, but as with uh, most old ladies, Gladys has got a secret. All old ladies have little secrets, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do, they do. Uh, uh, so, uh, it's a bit of a sleeper. It is a bit of a sleeper. So it's a bit it, of a sleeper. It's unwashed. Um, I'm not saying all old ladies are unwashed. Um, <laughs> it's, it's unwashed at the moment, and it, the bodywork is going to be like the final thing that I do on it. Um, but at, the mo at the moment, it's quite a good sleeper. Yeah, yeah, it's a you good base. You wouldn't suspect it at all. Yeah. Plus, 240s do look quite good, rough and ready anyway. Yeah, uh, it just, it's a good base. I started with uh, poly bushing everything. Um, so all the trailing arms, the torque rods, the... Um, anti-roll bars, everything, everything's uh, polybushed on it. Um, then I uprated the suspension, so I got the 4T60 classic with Swede lowering springs. I think you've got the same of you? I got the same, got the same. same set, yeah. Uh, I went for Bill Stein um, heavy duties on the front, and it's quite... Um, it's quite firm, yeah. On the it's front. quite firm, it's no, no longer that boaty feel. Uh, I left the... Um, uh, I left the sacks on the, the uh, sack shocks on the back because it it just gives that a little bit of squat, a little bit of um, uh, it adhesion. Is quite, it is a little bit squidgy at the it's back. It's a little I'm bit squidgy on the back. 
I'll just go and wiggle it. This is going to shut my fingers, it isn't it? Nope. It's got my prop. So it's got a little bit of give in the back. It's got a little bit of give. But it needs a little bit of give in the back. Um, sure it does. Because Gladys has got a secret. Oh, should, go on, go secret. on. So Gladys, Gladys had a rebuild. Gladys had a major rebuild. And she had a little bit of a rebuild. Over uh, the time Monica was in yeah. the body shop, you uh, parked yours up at the same time. I did, yeah. I had a donor car, uh, a 1996 uh, 940 Turbo, 2.3 Turbo. So, um, squirt a block. Uh, so I rebuilt the block, uh, new pistons, rings, uh, H-beam rods, uh, main bearings. So the whole bottom end has been done. And yeah, I just built it from the bottom upwards then. Um, uh, managed to get my hands on a 531 head uh, and I've, I've ported and flowed that. Um, more on the exhaust side uh, than the intake side, but both sides have been port matched as well. So you get super smooth uh, flow in and out. Uh, I went for uh, 470cc VXR injectors uh, on a standard uh, rail, uh, adapted everything to uh, AN fittings, um, adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Um, it, it's, it's one of the cheap eBay jobbies, but it's, it seems to be doing the trick. Yeah. Fingers crossed, touch wood so far. Um, fuel wise, uh, also, uh, it's got its own fuel system in the boot because I took everything from underneath the car where it gets exposed to all the uh, road muck. Uh, and put it all in the boot. It looks uh, very nice as well. We'll have a look at that. It looks uh, like a little st distillery in the it boot. Does. It's quite it does. It looks cool. like a moonshine <laughs> heaven. Uh, but yeah, co converted everything to um, AN fittings yeah. fuel-wise. Um, all hardline run inside the uh, inside the compartment. Um, uh, Induction-wise, I went uh, RS500 intercooler, which if you take the brackets off, it slots right in. Uh, in the existing place where the, um, the original B21 uh, sort of intercooler would have sat. Uh, need a bit of jig jiggery pokery with some pipes because the RS500 pipes come off at a funny angle. Yeah, but all, all modified cars are uh, uh, modified, aren't they? I mean, you, you, the, especially on a Volvo like this, you've got to, you've got to tinker. Yeah, uh, well. I went three inch uh, mass airflow off a 960. Um, so it's three inch from the turbo uh, all the way through uh, to the intake side. Turbo is a hybrid um, TDO4 off of an 850 uh, T5, but with a whole set HE221W um, compressor housing on it, uh, all AN braided lines uh, feed and return to the block. Uh, I used the Yoshi Fab return into the block. Absolutely amazing bit of kit there. On the induction side, I'd kind of made up my own throttle body design adapter plate, if that's a thing. Yeah, uh, it is I, now. <laughs> I, I took it from the tiny um, normal 2.3, uh, or the normal B230 throttle body, um, put a 960, 76 mil throttle body on it. Um, it's massive. So it gets some air. It gets it's some, massive. It gets some look serious at the size air. Of these pipes. It gets some serious oh. air. Uh, in the head, I have a uh, a KL T25 racing cam, uh, vernier pulley, uprated springs. It's all. Um, uh, it's it's all. Uh, it's it's to have lash caps in it as well. Um, I spent my time uh, especially making sure that the um, uh, the tappets were all set at the right um, uh, the right settings. Um, and then ignition side of things, uh, I wired in a wasted spark uh, ignition from ooh, ooh, some it was a Buka wasted spark kit that goes into the uh, the ECUs. You were showing me the very cool array of um, ECUs and wasted spark stuff oh, you've got under the, yeah, under the yeah. dash, it's very cool. I, I made a little thing to hold yeah. them on that. So uh, cool. Breather-wise, I went, because uh, they breathe quite heavily with a uh, turbocharged, uh, especially with the, the oomph being uh, uh, turned up. Uh, Breather-wise, it's got a standard PCV um, Volvo uh, breathing box on it. 
but it's piped off rather than piped back into the intake, which makes all your turbine, uh, makes your compressor all oily. Uh, I put a two port catch can on it, uh, straight out of the, uh, the Volvo by a PCV box and adapted a distributor housing. So yep. tapped out the top of it, M14, uh, put an adapter to AN12, so that goes into it. Um, and crazily, I haven't, over the 400 miles that I've driven it so far, I haven't had a drop of oil coming oh, through the breather good. system. Yeah. So that just proves that the, uh, the breather system that Volvo designed it's good. Works. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, the the, uh, the the coil packs off of a uh, Range Rover. I uh, can't <laughs> remember the specific number of it. And the ignition amplifier is off a Ferrari three four eight. I think. Uh, it seems to do the job. Um, it just yeah, it go, goes quite well. Did an electric fan conversion. Uh, the nine forty electric can fan conversion. Um, with all the Volvo relays and stuff. Um, yeah, and just try to keep everything sort of looking standard from the outside. Uh, it's cool, it's a, it's a cool bit of kit. I'm um, looking forward to seeing it go up and down the road. Mm, yeah, um, so I'm, I'm here today because I had a little bit of a prop alignment issue, which I'm hoping... Um, yeah, you, you were uh, so excited the other day, you said, I'll uh, fix my prop, done, I'm coming done. down. Uh, I have to drive her at 40 mile an hour. Uh, uh, hopefully. The, the, the vibrations are a little bit Hopefully we fixed Too it, much. but we found, was it one bolt? One bolt was like rock? five mil longer. Yeah. And so measured we it all out and it's... Hunted around and we found down the back of stores, <laughs> weirdly, a proper 240 prop bolt, which we put in. It's exactly the same bolt, exactly yeah. the same tensile, exactly the same numbers on it, exactly the same length. Super handy. So um, we banged all that back in. Hopefully yeah. that five we, grams spinning around will solve your shaky, uh, shaky problem. I will hope so too. Uh, the only other thing I missed out on the... Uh, on the front end really was I put a recirculation blow off valve on it um, so it goes the, every, all the metered air goes back into the uh, system after the uh, mass airflow meter so it doesn't f like screw with the uh, the fuel the fueling issues and stuff I've had it chipped um, I can't remember the guy's name he's from Sweden he does chips um, not fish and chips like <laughs> chip, chip like real chips uh, chips for the EC, uh, the fuel ECU and the ignition C ECU, and he can match them and meet them to what uh, injectors and sort of um, size of your frock body and mass airflow and stuff. Tried to keep the inside as Volvo as possible, uh, so I managed to get the uh, the free dash, uh, the free auxiliary dash, free auxiliary extra clocks. Yeah, free dash pod, three dash, dash pod. pod, three clock pod dash thing. Uh, AEM air fuel ratio meter uh, works really well. I use it in Lambda because it's really easy, like more easy to reference. Um, original boost it gauge. It was original long sweep boost gauge, but I changed the face in it and I got that off of Anthony Hyde's page. Mm. You can change the... the oh, for the Volvo in, R. Yeah, the inside, uh, um, the inside face. I got R Sport steering wheel. Well, it's kind of R Sport. It's a Momo <laughs> steering wheel with an R Sport. Uh, horn, um, yeah, because the because uh, the boost gauge is it, it only goes up to twenty psi. Uh, I mm. had to make a small adjustment with um, uh, another gauge. So You've over on the other side, over there. I got another gauge. I, it, well, it goes up to thirty five um, psi, which um, I think it's is a bit about, more. Just about the limit, uh, so I can choose really where where I want because I've got adjustable boost on it underneath secret place and we got oh. super super cool uh, with this. all with all with all my ecus and stuff i needed re easy access because if i'm changing any like chips and stuff so look at that that's so neatly laid out it's like the inside of an aircraft it's like you know how to wire things it's, no well. this is a plug and play loom oh, okay. another <laughs> another classic swede uh, plug and play um great great stuff he does uh, that's my wasted spark um, that went that wired in in like an aircraft type uh, mm. aircraft type loom. Nice. Um, just just does the do light, you know. Yeah. Just you make that little adjustment to make things right. Uh, yeah. Fuel pump relay, uh, ignition ECU, fuel ECU. Like I say, you can just pop them off and um, change the chips if you want. Yeah, if you need it, it's there. It does. Um, she's, she's a good, good-looking gal. Uh, 
got my genuine uh, 1985 Heller spoiler. I managed to pick that up from Germany off of uh, 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 at some guy off eBay in Germany. Because uh, it adds a little bit of extra weight to the boot, the, the shockers just don't quite yeah. do it. But I've, um, I've heard of an interesting mod. Yeah, we learned today, didn't we? Yes. I just did it the other day because um, I own an E30, which is there, peeking through. Hi, hi Christina. Um, you can use the bonnet, bonnet gas strut from an E30 is the same length as these things here and is slightly more pressured. So if you are running a spoiler, grab a pair of them, smack them on, and it's quite straightforward to do. I'll, I'll run through it on a, on a, a later vid on, on Monica. Yeah, fuel system in the boot, it looks cool, look at that. Uh, yeah, so I've got a lift pump at the back there, uh, brings it up through a, like a 300 micron filter into the swirl pot. The swirl pot fills up. Um, it's fed into uh, another super fine filter and into the main high pressure pump. I think it's a 380 litres per hour. So it's on par with the, the bigger type, um, zero, like bigger than a 044 Bosch pump. And it comes back, um, obviously goes off to the fuel rail, gets regulated by the fuel pressure regulator, gets returned into the swell part, um, and then anything that's unused gets returned back to the tank. I did a really good um, a conversion of the uh, the fuel sender because they were just clamp uh, fittings, but I managed to uh, adapt them to a compression fit AN6. Uh, a couple of little joints that we um, that I put on there from uh, Torx. Torx, Torx fittings. yeah, Torx fittings. Torx fittings. Yeah. Uh, he's not too far away, only down in Abergavenny. Is he? Yes. Man, I've been getting them off eBay. Uh, yeah, so that's. Um, She's a beast, mate. Pretty much She's where it stands. Pretty much where it stands. Hi. Let's get her out on the road. Gladys. <laughs> right, let's go for a spin, shall we? In Gladys. Is it seatbelt weather? No. Seatbelt weather? Not quite wet enough yet. She's plenty powerful enough. One wheel peel. <laughs> it also has kind of cuts out a little bit when it gets into boost. Did you boost my nice though? Yeah, a little. Wow, but so much power. She goes really well. So down goes my fuel economy. Oh, down goes the fuel economy. Um, how many horses do you reckon we are throwing in the engine bay? But Dino says. But Dino, but I reckon Dino. two, three. I, th I think so. I've been, I've been in a 350 horsepower VX220 from there to here, and it was ridiculously fast. Yeah. You're near that, so you're about 300-ish, I would say. In a 240, I've done, I've done four, well, nearly 400 miles on a rebuilt engine, so I'm just, it's not the time to Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Leanne's gonna be jealous. Good news, we didn't crash. <laughs> New tires now. So one wheel peel <laughs> up the hill. Private road. Total private, pri Total definitely private a private road. road. Most private most road. That was a private road. Yeah. 
Come on in, just quick. No, bring her oh, with you, Papa. bring her with you. Can you come in? Come on, have a look. Come on, Papa. Oh, Papa. Like. Right, that was fun. Quick blast down the road. Missed out on the blast down the road. Yeah, no. missed out uh, on the blast down right. the road. That's all right. Out. Okay, no, another now. time, another Next time. time. Um, um, oh. Didn't quite solve our prop vibration issue. If anybody's got any light to shed on a prop vibration issue, we've had it balanced, haven't you? Uh, I've had it balanced. It's got a new centre bearing on it. It's got a speed in central bearing support. Um, the only thing I haven't... Well, I've changed the... Um, engine mounts on it now to try and bring it into sort of line factory alignment yeah. it's um yeah head scratcher. it's a bit of a head scratcher it's, there's a slight improvement with a changing of the bolt the bolt to stop it try try the donut i say yeah. try getting that donut out of there we'll try the guibo i think it's a guibo isn't it? guibo guibo donut we'll try the guibo donut we'll get a new one on them on a nice one um, slow, steady drive home for you then, so we can... Yes. It's, it's better, it's just, it's definitely shaking something up. There is something amiss. Amish. Amish. It's definitely, definitely not engine related, it's transmission related. Because um, just going down still the hill... Still same speed. Yeah, yeah, going down the hill at 50. Clutch in, still clutch shaking. Clutch in, engine dialing, and it's just... Boom. Anyway, that, that's, that's, the, bye bye. that's the negative of the fact that it's really fast. <laughs> Is it really fast? Uh, it's it's really fast. Do you yeah. get the feeling in your tummy when you... It's really fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's really we're, fast. We had a bit of one wheel peel in third. Yeah. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah. I, Sounds the business. When you were driving away, though, it was mm, yeah. lovely. Yeah, she goes quite... It does, does sit down, doesn't it? Mm. It sits, <laughs> it sits and down and it sits you down. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is why I'm a little bit reluctant to put, like, the, the, the bill steins on the back. You like the squat as you go? Yeah. Squat, squat as you go. Well, <laughs> squat yeah. as you go. Uh, but late, later on in the summer, I'm going to build an axle, a nice axle. You've got it. a really cool axle. I have a cool you? axle. It's a 1030, did an you old, say? An old 1030 uh, axle. Um, That's very cool. I'm going to put a gripper LSD diff in it. And, um, yeah. Flying, flying bricks. It's got a 391 crown wheel and pinion. That's a thank. Uh, Roger Hicks for that. <laughs> uh, great buy, it's a good buy that was. <coughs> it's going to be a it's gonna be one machine. Mm. It's a cool thing. Uh, and, then, and then finally, one day bodywork. One day bodywork, one day well, bodywork. I don't know where you'll find to paint it. No I don't know, I've, I've had either. some recommendations. Um, I heard there's a guy down South Wales doing it for 600 quid. Is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm from. <laughs> Fun. fun little tinkering afternoon. No, it was nice. It sure is. Nice to be here, and thanks once again to the uh, Whiteland Restorations team for the use of the ramp. Oh, any time, any time. It's only the second time it's been on our ramp, so that's, yeah. that's good going, I reckon. It's, yeah. Our Volvo's lived most of its life <laughs> on, on, that ramp. on the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. it's going to be coming out soon. Very soon. Yeah. I went out soon. today. So close. Yeah, right then. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Yeah. Hit that bell, like you've done. I will. Yeah. I've oh, done it. Will. No, I've done it. I've, <laughs> done, <laughs> done, it. I've done it. He's done it. He's done it. And um, buy some merch. Buy some merch. <laughs> See you on Sunday with. Um, I think you're making another guest appearance on Ooh, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm a special. I, I think I'm a special guest. Oh, you're we'll always a special guest in this we'll workshop. <laughs> Emphasis on the special. <laughs> oh, I'm very special. <laughs> All right. Then. Bye, guys. Cheers, guys. See Ciao. You. One wheel peel. <laughs> It also has, kind of cuts out a little bit when it gets...